Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my cosy corner of the internet. This is Nephilim VA bringing you the third chapter of After the Fall written by Alex underscore is underscore writing underscore again on AO3. Izuku always wants to be a hero, but what does All Might want with him now? I think we all have an idea, but before we begin, here are the trigger warnings. This fanfiction is for mature audiences with a trigger warning for attempted suicide and drug use. If that isn't your style, then I recommend Humans Make Surprisingly Good Pillows, written by DogBlue9 on AO3. It can be found on my channel! Now let's delve deeper once again into a world where UA is a university, and you enter at the age of 18 but there are still three years of school, where Canon Divergence is the name of the game. Now I implore you to sit back and relax whilst I read to you. Chapter 3 I Missed You Kartsky and Azuku both turned around startled, but knowing exactly who they would see. All Might turned to them and looked directly at Azuku. Young man, may I speak to you in private? He asked, a smile still plastered on his face. Kartsky let out a sound that Azuku could have sworn was a growl. The look of pure anger on his face didn't help his case either. Kartsky Bakugo just growled at All Might, who just saved his life. And it was hilarious. Oh, uh, yeah. Azuku nodded at All Might and turned back to Kartsky. Is that okay with you? We can meet at my house. Don't tell mom. I want to tell her myself. Kartsky looked at Azuku, slightly confused. Are you sure? He asked. Yeah, Azuku nodded. I'll be fine. Kartsky lingered for a moment, as if he wanted to say something but must have decided against it before turning to leave. Azuku turned around to face All Might again once Kartsky was a few feet away. All Might coughed and de-transformed, turning into a scrawny middle-aged man. Azuku hoped Kartsky looked back. When Kartsky was out of earshot, All Might began to speak. Let's just get to the point. You told me you didn't have a power, so when I saw this timid, quirkless boy try to save my life, It inspired me to act too. Oh. This was about him being quirkless. Should he tell him he actually had a quirk? He just didn't know about it before? There are stories about every hero. How they became great. Most had one thing in common. Their bodies moved before they had a chance to think. Almost on their own. All Might gave him a serious look. To me, it appeared to be exactly what happened to you earlier. Izuku was confused. Had the man that had crushed his dreams and left him on a roof really come to tell him that he was acting like a hero? Young man, you too can become a hero, All Might exclaimed. You can inherit my quirk and achieve your dreams. Huh? Inherit a quirk? That's just not how quirks work. There was so much happening in one day, Azuku's mind was spinning. First, he got accidentally floated. Then Kartsky got attacked. Now the man who crushed his dreams on a rooftop suddenly decided he was good enough to have his own quirk? What the hell? What do you mean, inherit? Izuku asked, visibly confused. Ha, you should see your face. Don't worry, I'm not going to force this on you. All Might paused for a moment to take a deep breath before continuing. I wasn't born with this power. It's a secret torch passed on to me from someone else. 
Someone gave you this quirk? Azuku looked at All Might, skeptical. No way! Yes way, and you're next. I can give you my abilities. All Might stated, putting his hand on Azuku's shoulder. He wanted to shrug it off. He wanted to tell All Might that he was an asshole who didn't deserve to be the number one hero because a hero shouldn't endanger kids. A hero shouldn't leave a kid on a rooftop. A hero shouldn't crush your dreams and then leave you alone on a tall building without a second thought. But Azuku stayed still. He let All Might keep his hand on his shoulder. Izuku might have a quirk now. But what All Might had said was true. He moved before he could think. He wasn't thinking about whether or not he would live. His only concern was saving Katsuki. Izuku thought that was good enough. All Might didn't need to know that he had a quirk. He didn't deserve to know. What do I have to do? The true name of my power is one for all. All Might stated proudly, One person improves the power, then hands it off to another person. It continues to grow as it's passed along. It is this cultivated power that allows me to save those who are in need of a hero. The truth behind my strength. Not really an answer, but okay. One for all, Azuku echoed quietly. In awe of the possibility of such a power, all powers were supposed to be unique to each person. They weren't supposed to be inherited, and they definitely weren't supposed to be transferable. A quirk like that, one that crumpled Azuku's entire perception of quirks, was a quirk he needed to study. What better way to study it was there than to have it? But what if All Might decided he didn't want Azuku to have it anymore? What if he decided he wasn't good enough? Could he take it away? Azuku looked back up at All Might and asked, Why would you choose to give me a gift like that? What if I can't live up to it? I was on a long hunt for a worthy successor, and then I watched you jump into action as the rest of us stood idly by. You may be just a quirkless fanboy, but you tried to save that kid. You acted like a hero. The look on All Might's face said, you won't, but the expression almost seemed more threatening than it did promising. Was this guy serious? He didn't even really know Azuku, and he had already told him the secrets of his quirk. For all he knew, Azuku could be a villain. Sure, he had saved Katsuki, but even villains have someone they care about enough to save. This was exactly the kind of thing Izuku had been waiting for his entire life. A quirk like that could easily make him the number one hero with a ton of training. How could he possibly turn him down? I'll do it, Azuku said with a short nod. All Might beamed. No reluctance. That's exactly how I figured you'd respond, he said, before explaining how hard it would actually be to receive his power, all the work he would have to do. Of course, he wouldn't have told him before he agreed. Not that Azuku minded. He would do nearly anything for that power. As soon as their conversation ended, Azuku started running home. He would need to start exercising more anyway, and he was probably going to be late. He didn't get far, however. When he turned the corner, he saw Kartsky sitting against a fire hydrant. Kartsky looked up from his phone at the sound of Azuku's slowing footsteps and took out his earbuds. Took you long enough. Kartsky said. 27 minutes isn't that long when you're talking to a pro hero, Azuku stated, playfully rolling his eyes. Kartsky stood up. What did he say anyway? Azuku took a second to think. Should he tell Kartsky? Would All Might be angry? 
But then he decided who gives a fuck what the person who crushed his dreams thinks. He wants to give me his quirk, Azuku responded, tugging at the strap of his bag. Huh? Katsuki stopped walking and grabbed Azuku's shoulder so that he was facing him. You fucking with me, Deku? He looked angry, but also slightly jealous. Of course not, Kachan. Azuku gulped. I didn't understand it at first either. I still don't really, but he said that his quirk is like a torch, and that he can pass it on to whoever he wants. Which literally makes no sense, because that's not how quirks are supposed to work, they're- Deku, don't start your damn mumbling! Katsuki cut off Azuku. Why did he pick you? Didn't he literally tell you that you could never be a hero? Izuku shrugged. It didn't make sense to me, but he said that when he saw a kid that had told him he was powerless trying to save you, it inspired him to act. Izuku took a breath before continuing. He doesn't know that I actually have a quirk, or that I only tried to save you once I saw that it was you. Whatever, I'll still kick your ass and be the number one hero. I don't need All Might's quirk to do it. He lightly shoved Azuku's shoulder forward so he would start walking. The corners of Azuku's mouth turned up as he attempted to stifle his smile, but Katsuki looked down and saw him. What are you smiling about, you damn nerd? Katsuki asked, using a pathetic excuse for a slap on the back of Azuku's head. Azuku only smiled wider and spun on his heel so that he was walking backward in front of Katsuki. Oh, nothing, Karchan. I just look forward to beating you, Azuku exclaimed proudly. He was attempting to upset Katsuki on purpose. He knew it wasn't going to make him too angry, but it was enough to get his mind off of All Might and the sludge villain. I'll kill you, Deku, Katsuki declared pointing a finger at Azuku. Sure you will, Karchan. Azuku smiled, tilting his head with a smile that made Katsuki's stomach do a somersault. That might be kinda hard with my fancy new quirk, though, remember? It stops all unnatural things from killing me. The look on Katsuki's face was all the warning that Azuku needed. He turned around and started running. Izuku ran as fast as he could, not necessarily trying to escape Katsuki, although his screams of Get back here, Deku! and Fight me like a man! were quite motivating. His heart was pounding, and he could hear the sound of his and Katsuki's feet hitting the pavement. He felt like he was on top of the world. After a minute, Azuku could hear Katsuki calming down, so he slowed his pace to run next to him. He was already pretty tired from the running, but he would have to get past it. His house was in view now, multiple blocks down the road. Race ya, Azuku declared, putting everything he had into a sprint just as Katsuki had started to slow down, thinking that they were done running. Deku, get your ass back here! The two boys sat side by side in front of the door catching their breath which took Izuku much longer. His chest heaved as he sucked in air. Izuku hated running. He could taste blood almost every time, and it gave him pain in his side. He had no idea how Katsuki could enjoy running, but he knew he did. He had been teasing Katsuki and racing him just to keep him happy, but he needed to ask if he was actually okay. When the sludge villain had attacked Izuku, it had left him pretty shaken up. But Katsuki's attack had lasted much longer. Izuku turned to face him and placed his hand at his side. His fingers brushed Katsuki's, causing both boys to jump slightly and pull their hands apart. Izuku brought his hand up to the back of his neck, rubbing it with a sheepish grin. So, uh... Izuku began. When I met All Might for the first time, it was because he saved me from a villain. 
he met Kartsky's eyes with his own. And I, uh, well, it was the same one that got you, and I just... I just wanted to say that you can talk to me about it, if you ever want to, because that shit was scary, you know? I thought I was going to die, and he had you so much longer. A moment passed with neither of them saying anything. Just, uh, I'm here if you ever need to talk or anything, okay? Kartsky nodded. He almost reached his hand out for a second before deciding against whatever he was going to do. Thanks, nerd, was all he said before laying his head on Azuku's knee. Azuku didn't hesitate to put his hand in the mass of blonde hair, so he sat there, running his hands through Kartsky's hair and catching his breath. Kartsky relaxed into Azuku's hand, a small smile creeping onto his face. It was the funniest thing to Azuku that Kartsky's resting face was naturally the prettiest thing he had ever seen, but Kartsky chose to make himself look like a sewer goblin all the time. I missed you, Kartron. Azuku utters, almost a whisper. Kartsky opened his eyes, reminding Azuku why red had always been his favourite colour. The corners of Azuku's mouth tugged upwards, as he felt his heart melting. Kartsky looked at him for a moment before his face turned slightly pink and he shoved himself up off of Azuku. Well, you've caught your breath now. Let's go in, he said suddenly, opening the door to Azuku's house. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the support you've given me. The All Might bashing has begun. I love it. I'm a fence-sitter when it comes to my opinion of All Might, but Azuku telling Kartsky straight after his conversation with All Might is hilarious. Also, Sewer Goblin is a new turn of phrase in my vocabulary. All credits go to the original creator of this fanfiction, Alex underscore is underscore writing underscore again on AO3, I would highly appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you subscribe to the channel and you hit the notification bell to be notified of when I next upload. There is no pressure to do so though. Thank you for visiting my cosy corner of the internet. Keep growing my sunflowers. Mwah.